Welcome to the Eviva Experience, a podcast for women facing the emotional and psychological fuckery of midlife. Hi there, lady. My name is Sarah Tuckett, and I am a somatic psychotherapist and dance movement therapist based in Brisbane. Let's get on with the show. I was in an exercise class the other day and at the traffic lights outside, these women started having an argument. One woman got out of her car and she was shaking her fist at the other one. And I just thought, oh my God, we were all so frazzled at this time of year, so exhausted. And I think the heat here in Queensland just makes it so much worse. So I thought, what if you could use your commute to actually calm you down? But first of all, How would you know if you were feeling stressed and anxious and burnt out? What would be the signs? So typically, you might feel tension in your body. A lot of people feel tension in their shoulders, in their neck. Some people feel pressure in their chests and like they can't breathe properly and maybe even tension in their throat. Some people feel their heart rate increasing. Some people have sticky palms and hands. And some people just feel hot all over. So those are very typical signs of feeling stressed and anxious. So if you're feeling like this, see if one of these three tips for your daily commute can help you calm the farm so that you do not lose your shit on the way to work. The first one is whenever you stop at a stop sign, sigh out. Breathe in through your nose and just sigh out through your mouth. Just letting that sigh fall out of your mouth. In therapy, we call this the physiological sigh. And it's a great way for just letting the tension fall out of your body. It's instantly calming. So that's all you do. Literally, you breathe in through your nose and just sigh out. I know that many of us find it embarrassing to make a noise. So if that's you, or maybe if the kids are in the car, just do a silent sigh. But as you do it, just let those shoulders sink, let your jaw be soft. And if there's no one around, perhaps you make more noise. Maybe it's more of a, oh my God. And then there's the, that follows. My second tip is whenever you see a 60 speed sign, take six long breaths. Now I can't take credit for this one. This was my friend Dana. She actually told me about this tip. And what she does is every time she's driving and she's stressed, she just takes six long exhales when she sees the speed sign. And it really is those long exhales that just help our nervous system down regulate. So again, just breathing in through your nose and gently sighing out through your mouth. And see if you can make it a lovely long exhale, squeezing out all the air, because that's the magic. And thirdly, whenever you come to a red traffic light, just see if you can soften the back of your body into the chair. Car seats are often really hugging for our body, so you get a lot of contact, a lot of sensory feedback. So see if you notice all of those places where your body is touching the chair and see if you can soften into the chair. And it's that softening, that melting of the muscles that's going to help calm you down. So there we have it. Sighing out at the stop sign. Taking six long breaths when you see the 60 sign. And softening into the back of the car seat at the red light. I hope that helps you calm down. Thank you for listening to today's podcast. I have a question for you. How do you want to feel today? Powerful, 
playful, or present. Download my free guide, Feel Your Vavavoom in 60 Seconds, and find out how.